Hey guys, welcome back. So it is Sunday. It's really gloomy outside and I have just been at home just relaxing all day today, but I have some things I need to get done. And most importantly, I have to build my bed frame. I don't know if I told you guys this already, but I have a bed frame that's been sitting in my kitchen, just taking up space. I've been tripping over that thing, dropping things on it. I've stepped on it. Like my niece and nephew have literally used it as a balancing beam. I need to get it off my floor and I need to get my bed, my mattress off my floor. It's been an embarrassing amount of time. So <laughs> I just need to rip the bandaid off and just get this thing built. But I'm going to be doing a DIY headboard i found this really cool boucle uh fabric on etsy and i'll be using that i want to diy it for a few reasons one the bed space is just a little cozy and i want it to be very custom for the space to give a really luxe look so we're gonna attempt to at least for now for today we're gonna try to get the bed frame built and then over the next couple days, we'll work on the headboard. I still have to go to Lowe's and get like um, just a piece of plywood um, to use as the actual like frame. And then, oh, look at this. So I bought these tubes here. I have like seven of these and I got them off of Foam Factory. And so I'm going to put the fabric on these and they are pretty long. They're about the length of my arms. That's just short of the entire wall in my bedroom, so um, we shall see. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. We are putting my bed together and we're building the headboard. So let's do it. Oh, one more thing. If you haven't subscribed and you haven't put on your notifications, what are you doing? You have to put your notifications on so you know when I post. That's important, so make sure to go ahead right now, click that notification button, and click subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, let's go. I've been contemplating all my time. My thoughts make me tired just running through. My mind Wonder if there's peace to I can find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching You're just what I'm longing for When times are getting crazy And everything seems hazy Someplace for safe, I so seven feet four inches across. Run away, run away, run away to your escape. 
I ran out of material, so I think I'm going to cut off this extra piece of plywood and just shorten the total length of the headboard. And you know, I'm here with my friend Stan because he has all the great tools and we're just going to get this cut down to size. For extra security, I decided to go ahead and nail the plywood to the 1x4s from the back. I also ended up purchasing these really cool mounting brackets from Amazon. I'll make sure to link them below. So I just finished the headboard. It's done and it's in place. I actually ended up not having to put the back screws on there because the uh, measurements were so spot on. They were like really precise so I literally like had to like push it into place and it's not going anywhere so I actually don't have to nail it. So this is it. And here I'll show it to you with the bed. So. Okay, so I went to Target and I got a bunch of new bedding. It's here on the floor. So I'm going to put that on and we will be done. Okay. You're like a work of art. Love when you leave your mark. I'm undone. You're my initial spark. Please come and break my heart. I won't run. I get lost beside us, and I won't be found. I would cross the fire if I knew that you'd be waiting around. Well. Ain't sure you're the right one for me Didn't I see you involved? Nobody do it like this Pandora bag, lucky charm that wrist This is real life, I need someone that Nah, wait a minute You need someone that uh, uh, Pick up the phone, every call I can turn the crib to a mall We're too high For climbing It's a long way down All right, guys, I just finished and I really like how it turned out. This was a super easy project that anybody can do at home and you actually don't need to do all the cutting and the drilling that I did. That Gorilla Glue that I had worked just as good. So uh, if you wanna go to the extra mile, you can nail it, but it's a really user-friendly project that anybody can do at home. And I think total it costs me about $300 for everything, the fabric, the plywood, and the foam. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I really like how it turned out. Make sure you put on your notifications so you don't miss when I post. I post every weekend and I love you all so much. I'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.